guys, welcome back to A-Level Lessons. In this next part of our Human Jog series, Team 2.2, we're going to be covering the impacts of extractive industries. Uh, I believe it's quite a simple part to understand, so we will just uh, head straight in. So first of all, environmental impacts. Of course, we're going to be looking at the impacts based on the various domains. So how does it impact the economic domain? How does it impact the uh, environmental domain? Right, so when we look at oil leakages for one of the environmental impacts of an extractive industry, in the case of your oil industries, right, oil leakages are very, very common. And as you guys would have seen before in a lot of articles, uh, this is quite a common issue that has got quite a detrimental impact to wildlife, right, your biodiversity, as well as polluting the ocean. Oil in general is very, very thick, it's viscous, it's very, very hard to get rid of. Um, moreover, oil contaminated water and anim animals can also have a detrimental impact on fishing as well as tourism, which can affect those lives that are in um, that area, okay, those who are fishing or looking for these um, as a way to, to make uh, an income. Right, next, we have got soil erosion and deforestation. So this one looks at when your mining industries, your oil industries, when they need to even be carried out in the first place, they will have to go through clearing of forests. So high rates of deforestation can remove the top soil layer, leading to accelerated soil erosion. Um, it can also wash away soil layers, which can cause a buildup of sediments in the river, resulting in this issue of silting, which is a threat to biodiversity. We look at air and water pollution as a very common one. So when you're undergoing mines and whatnot, when you undergo extractive um, processes, you can actually generate a lot of heat, a lot of emissions right, to the atmosphere. So this can release greenhouse gases in the form of methane, carbon dioxide. And a lot of times water can also be contaminated because a lot of the waste from these extractive industries are uh, absor absorbed into the soil, right, through all your cracks, your fissures, and whatnot. So we look at the regenerative capacity of environmentally sensitive areas. So in essence, um, we look at areas like the forest, right, we look at rivers, we look at biodiversity. In general, the regenerative capacity is very, very low, and it's very, very slow as well, mainly because a lot of these require time to um, replenish itself, right? For example, trees, they take a long time to grow. Soil fertility also takes a long time to be regained. So it can be very, very um, small in terms of its regenerative capacity. Economic impacts are quite straightforward. In general, we know that extractive industries, they are beneficial because they can lead to an increase in exports, for instance, right? They are essentially getting you certain minerals that have attached value to it, right? So this can add to the overall economy. Um, so exports, this need to arise in living standards. Social impacts wise, we look at displacement of populations. So when you have got a resource that is location specific, what happens is that, um, you know, in order for it to take place, you may have to uh, relocate the people, for instance, right? Because uh, it's in the area whereby they are living, right? So this can lead to them being unhappy, it can lead to political um, conflicts as well, right? And land that is lost which could hold certain sentimental value. Next, we have conflicts in terms of the utilization of land. So we look at how um, when the land is required for, let's say, other users instead of extractive industries, for example, farming, agriculture. Um, in essence, this is all just an opportunity cost that is being incurred, right? If we want to look at um, using the land for another purpose of extracting minerals instead. So this can lead to conflicts over the management and utilization of land, right? Um, and this can be something that is socially undesirable as well. So exam requirements is quite simple. You just need to be able to explain the various impacts of extractive industries, understand the regenerative capacity of environmentally sensitive areas as well. This is what is written in your syllabus document, and it's quite a simple part on your extractive industries. Uh, next, we'll be looking at resource curse that builds a bit more on this. Um, so if you are currently struggling in geography, right, we are actually open to geography tuition um, for the Singaporean students. So you can always head down to the website alevellessons.com, link in the description below, to sign up for a free trial today. And uh, I'm sure that you will definitely benefit from the team of tutors that we have over here. All right, so that's all for this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a like as well as to subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out a lot. And that's about all we have, right? If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next part. Have a good one. Bye-bye.